Hey, Tids. How you doing? Welcome on in. Yeah, nice and moist for me, won't you? And thank you for the hydrate. Oh, good, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad they finally sorted it. I'm just doing the uh, Discord thing. Oh no, P did not cope with the storm at all. Um, he was vibrating, he was huffing and whining, he looked absolutely petrified. It was not a fun time, and it was in the middle of my work day when I was trying to deal with something um, fairly serious. So it was just a little bit, yay. Um, but it's passed, and now he's just doing the normal kind of mope, as opposed to the fear mope. Um, I have some sad news relating to the stream. Oh, thank you for the treat for me. Um, you will notice a distinct lack of anything in the bottom left corner. Um, Hello there. Hey, Steen, how you doing? Welcome on in. Um, thank you for the treat for me, Tids. It is half a foamy banana, because the other half has disappeared. Hello, Prime B and Mod Hell as well. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're um, all doing well today. Like, I am so barely ready for this stream. Alas, it's just a foamy ban. Yeah, a foamy ban. Um, I finished work at quarter to six. Or a foamy Anna, depending on which end. <laughs> uh, I, finished, I finished work at quarter to six. I got all of my um, stream setup done in the 15 minutes between then and now. Um, but... You'll notice that my avatar is missing. Um, the application that I use um, for running my little avatar has broken. I don't know if maybe it's Hero had an update or something. And anyone who says otherwise is wrong. Hey, Cypher, welcome on in. How you doing? Yeah, I, d I don't know if it's had an update or something like that, but whenever I try and boot it up, it brings up this crash handler for such a brief period of time that I can't even see what the error message is before it closes again. Um, no worries, Cypher. Well, thank you for popping in and saying hello. I hope your meeting goes okay. Um, I'm going to turn the content warning timer off because I forgot to do that. This is how organised I am right now. <laughs> um... And I'm going to put Porthos Cam back on so you don't have to look at me. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to fix it because it was working on Sunday and as far as I was aware, nothing had changed in the intervening time. Is it because of OBS 28? Damn it to hell. I don't think so. Um, I use a piece of software called uh, VidoTube Mini. Um... And it works reasonably well. Like, I've never had any problems with it before. Um, so I'm just fucking around with Porthos Cam so you can actually see him instead of my chair. Yeah, that would do. Um, yeah, that that was the, the next thing on my list of things to do, apologist. But this occurred at two minutes to six. <laughs> so I've not had chance to deal with it yet. Because um, I looked at it and went, 
I could either spend half an hour trying to fix this problem or I could just go live without my avatar for one stream and then fix it after the stream, which is exactly what I intend to do. Because it was literally, okay, what haven't I booted up? I swear I booted my avatar up already. Oh, crash handler. Nope, didn't see what that said. <laughs> it's, it, it's been going well. Thank you for the treat for poor Cosmod Hell. He failed to catch it. Which is kind of impressive, really, when you think about it. Okay. Uh, also, hello, apologist. How are you doing today? And welcome on in. Um, I'm sorry if I've missed anybody. Crash Handler Peekaboo is the worst, isn't it just? You'd think it'd be nice enough to go, say okay when you finished reading what I have to say. Or something like that. But nope. Nope. It's a It's a unity thing, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So... Anyway, um, hopefully um, I've fixed my audio issues now. I shouldn't be quite so muffled. Um, captions seem to be picking me up nice and clearly. With some minor exceptions. Um, and If it's Unity, it should give you a full memory dump. Yes. Just got to figure out where it's dumped it to make this sound better yeah so there were two things going on hello grox uh one of them was because of how high i had my noise gate up um to block out the sounds of slow in the hallway um i'd got the microphone very close to my face because it wasn't picking me up properly um, so I was too close to the microphone, which was making me sound muffled. Hello there. Um, and the other thing was, um, at some point, <clears throat> Porthos, get your nose out of my bin. Sorry, folks. Uh, before I continue with the, the audio setup thing, uh, Porthos went into my bin whilst I wasn't in my room. Um the other day took a foil tart case out of the bin and proceeded to chew it to pieces and swallowed some of it thankfully he then threw it up the next morning and i had to clean that up but that could have been really really serious now i, I posted a an oatmeal comic on twitter the other day that was how to be a dog in two steps one Make uh, somebody love you unconditionally. Two, find creative ways to kill yourself on a daily basis. And that is what he's fucking doing at the minute, I swear. <laughs> no messing with the raccoons while they're running the tanimatronics. Indeed, Mod Hale. At least he had enough of a brain cell to chuck it. Well, yes and no, Tids. It was more of a, his stomach went, oh, I don't like this. And he threw it up along with his um, pre al along with the previous night's dinner all over his bed just as I was about to start working um, on Monday. My my Monday was not a good Monday. <laughs> um, I was gonna do some speedrun practice tonight, but I'll be honest with you, it's been a long day. It's been a long week, um, and I'm quite tired. Um. We've had some difficulties, shall we say, with house-related stuff recently. Um, like, this week has been just chock-full of unfortunate house-related thingies. Can I...? Ah. Ah, okay. That does that. So, can we, can we, okay. It's been a fucking year, let's be honest. It's been a long road getting from there to here. Sorry, Enterprise flashback. Hey, Soup, how you doing? Um, as far as I'm aware, everything is sorted now. Um, so, we're all good. It's just... 
Oh no. Oh no. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Is that just going to stay there for a little bit? Oh. Fuck. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. This actually works out okay. Because then we do this. Is it going to go all the way up? No. Come on. Close. Close it. Cl close it. Oh, this child. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Actually, this might still work because it should stay there, if I'm understanding correctly. Nerf and Star Trek are crossing over and making Nerf phases. Awesome. Oh, it didn't work! Curses! I thought that would just leave it where it was. I was wrong. Okay, so we... No! Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Haha! -ha. Wait, no, it didn't it didn't open the door. Motherfucker. Okay, okay, okay. But it still didn't open the door. Did it? Okay, I misunderstood how this works. So is this one the thing that controls the door then? Let's have a look. This is the one that controls the door. Uh, linked in the Discord. Wicked, I'll take a look. 135 euros. Oof. Damn it, child. No! Nope. And now we do it all again. Not as bad as the Nerf Gallahorn, at least. Yeah, well, is anything... Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We've got this. Yes, there we go. Took a bit of faffing, but we did it. That's the important thing. It's so weird not to have my avatar in the corner. That's really going to bug me until I fix it. What are you humming at, Tids? The the automatic deletion of um, the law command. I was looking to see if that was going to be a good idea or not, to be honest with you. Because um, it keeps the chat tidy, but it also makes it look like people are, you know, misbehaving, which they're not. It's just, you know. And I haven't put a timer on law yet, I forgot. Oh, this is pretty. Wait, did we just have two checkpoints with no puzzles between them. Confuse me a bit is all. Yeah, tell you what, it takes me two seconds to turn that off, so I'll do that. Because I don't like the way it appears in chat. Um, 
Like, I couldn't test that when I was testing things on my lunch break. But yeah, it bugs me. Let's, uh, there we go. Oh, I've also designed it so that you can just put exclamation mark law at any point during a sentence and it should um, bring up law. Oh, and uh, for those that weren't here earlier when Tid tested it out, we also have this new command. I don't have any salmon maximotes. I will be adding um, a little extra something to both of those commands when I've got time, but I hadn't got enough time. Yeah, I don't have enough space for any salmon max emotes at the moment. Like, I would literally have to remove an emote to be able to put a salmon max cops emote in. Unless I do it through uh, better TTV, which I could do. So I might do that in the short term. I think I have to uh, hit partner before I can get any more emote slots. Which literally is the only reason I'd want to hit partner is so that I can get more emote slots. I don't give a shit about the rest of it. <laughs> Just want more emotes that you folks can use. This is so pretty. I, I wanted to talk about it, but we were talking about um, we were talking about emotes. Um, ah, the knife button incident. Yes, um, so I have taken all of the lovely snippets of lore that you mad folks have made um, on Twitter that I could find um, and a couple of others that I could... Oh, oh, okay, this is new. That I could remember from... That's going to hurt us, isn't it? That does not look like a friendly shrub. Um. Yay! Hello? Hey, Kian, how you doing? Welcome on in. Oh, yes, I was telling you before we ended up talking about Porthos and his um, bin raiding habits. Um, the other thing that was wrong with my microphone was that at some point during all of the shuffling and shifting that's occurred over the last few months, it had got turned back to front. Uh, and I've got it set up so that it's only actually receiving input through the front. Um, so that it's less likely to pick slow up. Uh, so I was basically talking to you folks from really far away with my face as close to the microphone as is physically possible, and that was not helping matters. Oh, that's very cool, Kian. Uh, but I've fixed both of those things now, and I'm pretty sure from the quality of the audio that you should be able to tell. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh, a cutscene. We got a cutscene. Um. Okay. <laughs> that should do it for this courtyard. I can already feel the inside of the tower moving. Okay. I hope that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it, it's been a bit of a rough week so far for me. Um, I was going to do speedrun practice and I had an absolutely horrendous day on Monday. Um, and being a fucking idiot went, you know what will cheer me up? Playing solo Survivor queue in Dead by Daylight. Spoilers. It did not cheer me up. <laughs> At all. Um... Probably no, I know, I'm an idiot. I'm a fool. I was a fool. I mean, I'm always a fool. You folks know that better than anybody, I think. 
Um, but yeah. So, I played one Survivor game. I decided... Even more stupidly, I decided to try and adept one of the new characters. Uh, for those that don't play Dead by Daylight, adepting is when you only use that character's three perks and you escape. Um, so here's me trying to adept this character. Okay, she she doesn't want to do anything. Cause there's a there's a yeah no. We must need something over. Get game. Get game. Uh oh. Okay, I can't do anything here. And the game won't let me leave. Um. I I have the little pride crow. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna load this because it appears to have crashed. That's that's unfortunate. I like the um, option to load from different checkpoints. That's nice. Yeah, I I, I love the little pride bird. It's very cute. Soft lock, yay! Mmm. That was unfortunate. And now we're back here. Woo. Um. Yeah, so here's me trying to adapt this this survivor, and one of the other survivors decides to follow me around. Um, and it's never good when a random survivor that you don't know personally is following you around, frankly. Um, they helped me out with a generator, and then they uh, st stopped working on the generator. Oh, Soup, I'm so sorry to hear that. You you take care, and I hope you feel better soon. And thank you so much for popping in when you're not feeling well. I really do appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate you all, but, you know. You know what I mean. Go talk to the giant woman, maybe? <laughs> you're back, dear. And apparently you possess skills beyond the Mulder herself. <laughs> thank you. Papa always told me to do my best, and no one could ask for more. That's a good approach. Hey, RNG, how you doing? Not good when a random person is following you around, both IRL and Porthos! Where do you keep finding bits of foil? Oh my god! This dog is going to be the death of me, I swear. Hello there. I've just got done talking about how he dug around in my bin and ate foil whilst I was asleep. And now he's fucking doing it while I'm on stream! You're lucky you're cute. Hello, cyborg. Yeah, you, 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 you do the best you can. And thank you so much for popping in to say hello. I hope the rest of work goes quickly and smoothly for you, and that you get some good rest when you get home. Tut Porthos, indeed. Tid, thank you for the treat for me. Honestly, I wish I'd got some fizzy drink up here, cause I'd just crack open the rum, and that'd be my treat for the rest of the fucking night. You. You're driving me to drink! Blooming dog. It's fine. It's all good. He's had another bit of foil out of the bin. Ow! I would have regretted you taking it all out. It's in the fucking bin, Slow. Why would I take it out? Empty the bin. I would if the bin weren't full. The big bin. It's not full. It's not now, because I put the bins out the other day. Don't try and empty my bin while I'm on stream, please. <sighs> anyway, should we get back to the game? Go get some fuck knows you deserve it. I haven't I ain't got any fizzy left, I drank it all. Um No there's not. You drank it. 
I depression drank it last night, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, baby. It's been a long week. <laughs> Oh, awesome, thank you. Slow's gonna get me fizzy drinks so I can have rum tonight. Back, back to the game. Back back to the game. It's too late to order Armada Starscream. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Prime B. Uh, I can't remember if I said hello to Rocket, so just in case I didn't. Hi, Rocket, how you doing? Sorry. It's <laughs> the stream's going well. <laughs> <clears throat> Alternative sellers. Vermin tiding. Ah, well, best of luck with it. Now, please tell me about the courtyard. How bad was the damage? I love how I was doing the architect voice, and then all of a sudden, just like, I I can imagine them being like super composed and then just will you put that down <laughs> I'm trying to be all obtuse over here it was beautiful actually it was uh, it was beautiful and please dear there is no need to sugarcoat the truth no, really. I mean, it was badly damaged, sure, but also there's a certain grace to it. And it wants to be whole again, more than anything. Hmm. I cannot tell whether you are lying or not, but thank you. No mother wants to know her child to suffer. Now I suppose you will be wanting to know about the next courtyard. The Arboretum of Goliaths. Oh, I like the sound of that. Finally a Titan class I want, but I don't want to spend all that money on it, and ah, uh, that's fair, Prime B. What are living partners, if not emergency coping mechanism obtainers? <laughs> oh, that's harsh, but upsettingly accurate. Wait, um, so to, to, to give us a to, to give us to give you a sort of bit of a perspective into things um my buyer for my current house turned up on my front do doorstep on monday afternoon whilst i was working and basically threatened me <laughs> um it's been dealt with uh, but that kind of ruined my entire Monday. Um, and then I went and did that DVD game that I was telling you about. Um, and the the random survivor started like pointing the killer in my direction and walking up to me and then running away, like pointing again and then running away so that the killer would hit me instead of them and I got tunnelled out of the game and I was just like, you know what? No, fuck this. This is not making me feel better. And then I ate an entire six pack of Bakewell tarts, hence the foil. And then there was a thunderstorm. <laughs> um, but yeah, Mon Monday was rough. Monday was complicated. I spent most of the afternoon on the phone to solicitors and other people and slow is petting me. Um, petting me a little too hard actually you're making my head bob <laughs> ow um, thank you slow um, so that was like super stressful um, and then I spent most of yesterday emailing the solicitors and phoning the solicitors and most of today emailing the solicitors it's just like I'd, I'd like a nap now please <laughs> thank you for the treat for me tids it will It is a foamy banana. A whole foamy banana this time. Thank you very much, Judge. Yeah. It's been a wee bit stressful this week. 
<laughs> and somebody trying to get themselves injured does not help matters. Gotta love a complete banana. I know, right? Gardens. Must be quite a view. Oh, it is not in me to brag. But our arboretum would put to shame the richest, luscious woodland you could ever set your eyes on. That sounds a bit like a brag. I suppose we are all entitled to our little idiosyncrasies. No? <laughs> oh, I love that RNG. The cosy with the sunglasses on is wicked. Yeah, uh, I guess we are. Now, head to that portal on the left. The Arboretum of Goliaths requires your attention. It's cosy and cool. Aw, I like that. I doubt the veracity of that claim. Oh, she said left, didn't she? She said go left. Don't go right. That may have been what caused us to get soft locked last time. Trying to go somewhere we'd technically already been. Hey, Pudlord, how you doing? Well, she's, um, she's talked a big game. Let's see if this, um, Arboretum of the Goliaths, um, lives up to all the hype. It best be prettier than the last place we went to. The tall lady was playing with shapes. <laughs> You know, Pudlord, that is a perfect way to describe what was just happening on screen and is about the level I've been operating on all day, so I really appreciate that. Oh. Yeah, the icing on the cake for this week so far has been that my boss is off, uh, so I'm holding down the fort on my own <laughs> and juggling all of this shit outside of work. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a thing. Being a grown-up is complicated. This is nice. This is, uh, this looks like the tree version of the shrubs that tried to murder us earlier. Ooh. <laughs> Did you folks see that? Little bit of lag there. Stuck in the air. My boss has been sick and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Oh, see, I, I really like my boss, and she's very, cl uh, very, very clever. I tried to say clever and smart at the same time, and that did not work. Um, she's very clever, and um, she's very nice as well, which helps. She's she's just a really good boss, um, and I am feeling her not being there at the moment. Like I, I feel the the imposter syndrome is strong right now, for one thing. Look, a big square. My boss is off. If you check the cables before turning them back on again. Indeed, indeed. Let's see what you did there. This is another monument, but you... You hold the power of the spirit of magnitude. Are we going to get big? I wonder everything's so big around here. I... The Keeper of Kamiura, request your virtue. Grant me the power of magnitude. Hey Ash, how you doing? My boss is generally an okay person, but she seems to hate me for some reason. Wow, RNG, that really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you going to cause earthquakes? Oh, no, I want to be a giant woman. Oh, no, we just make the things around us big. That's boring. <sighs> Disappointed. Now, if I push this right up against the wall, will it push itself out? When I make it bigger. Let's find out. It will! Marvellous. Oh, 
Oh, Ash, sweetheart, I'm so sorry to hear that. Massive, massive hugs. Are you now a knight in the order of magnitude? Apparently. Yeah. If there's anything we can do for you, Ash, you know where we are. And I, th I think you're in the Discord? If you need to let off some steam about stuff in the, the Void Screm, do. That's what it's there for. Okay. So we've got this here. What do you do? Ah! Makes blocks. Nice! I like Ina's hair. Very pragmatically styled. It is, isn't it? I think the character design in this has been very cleverly done. Um, now, here's a problem. Like We've got this block now, but we're not going to be able to get it over there because... That happens. This game is very cute on a different note. It is. It's a very, very pretty game. Oh! Oh! It doesn't just make squares. Okay. The art style is gorgeous. That is the one thing that I've read non-stop about this game, in all honesty. Is that it's just very, very pretty. Okay, so we get another block out of the... The companion cube generator. Put that there. Then we steal the the biginator from here. We do that. There we go. <laughs> Not just squares. Fucking wild. Rectangles? <laughs> Fuck. I know, right? It's amazing. And another checkpoint. Okay, so apparently the, the key to me being able to solve the puzzles in this game is for me to come into it hyper-stressed out. <laughs> Great! Okay, so that's something we can add to the... My cubes. Um, that's something we can add to the um, law library later. Um, if, I ever, if I ever reach maximum stress... What kind of puzzles will I be able to solve? I feel like it's, um... You know that, that bullshit about how you only use 10% of your brain? That, that whole thing. I feel like it's just that. So if we make another block and put it on top... <laughs> Look at me! Solving the puzzles without getting confused for a change! Oh. Um. Okay. Oops. <laughs> uh, my new printer just arrived. Normal printer for paper, so only 2D. Huh? 2D pr uh, pa uh, paper. 2D printers are still cool. Many uses for a 2D printer. Okay, so... Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I think I figured this out and I haven't done a stupid thing. Or the wrong thing, for that matter. This block here has arrows pointing to the left and right. This block here has arrows pointing up and down. So if I stand on this and do that, it should get taller? No, okay. It has nothing to do with it. Unless I've jumped on the wrong block. Let's find out. No, it has nothing to do with it. Okay. I thought I'd found something cool there. No, I have not. Okay, so you are in my way. Just put you over here. 
put you in the middle. I want to be on this side of you. Um. Oh. Uh. Okay, so that one. Hmm. I may have to go back to a checkpoint because I may have fucked it by accident. Oh! Oh. Oh. Um. I'm imagining a 3D printer that uses paper and just makes origami. I mean, I'd be down with that. I'm wondering when we'll get 4D printers. You have just melted my brain, Kian. <laughs> Ash, thank you very much for subscribing for nine months with your Bezos bucks. Better in my pocket than his, eh? Ash Unite has been a sub for nine months. Very naughty, take my Bezos bucks. Okay, so that's actually... Hmm. Can we push this? We can't push it when it's uh, doing the glowy thing. I feel like I'm learning a lot. Oh, no, I'm not green. You weren't green anyway. I'm confused. You were never green. You've always been purple. Um, Time Lord shit, yeah. You can depict some wild shit within the realms of 2D. Look at all the all of Jack Kirby's art. Yeah, I know it in general, but specifically comics. Yeah, you can. Confused about the process of printing origami. Would it just print out a flat sheet of paper with fold lines on it? Or would it print out the paper and then fold it mechanically? Oh, who knows? It could... Um, so the way 3D printers work is they layer the um the material in an appropriate pattern so maybe it would just layer the paper like it it would have for want of a better description like liquid paper that it would then layer into the origami pattern or something like that i don't know oh your sub badge i see it's blue now not green yeah it goes through the rainbow Um, right, what was I doing? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I lost track. Okay, so that doesn't cause any power there. We need to... Hmm. <laughs> okay, so what needs to happen this is why people don't pitch any idea to me i have no problem with it i like kind of hashing these kind of ideas out um for me it's not a oh well it'd have to work like this wouldn't it it's more of a think of all the ways it could work it, it it's fun to to think about things like that i think personally anyway Okay, so we need that. What needs to happen is we need Oh, it's not quite close enough. Bugger. Can I? Nope. Nope. Oh, no, it still didn't work. Bugger. Okay. So what I'm trying to do 
is push these far enough over that they'll trigger the thing but I'll still be able to get up that should do it in theory oh god oh god child why there we go <laughs> it's totally supposed to work like that honest honest oh um no okay We're going to go to a checkpoint. We're going to load from the last checkpoint and see if I can do this without... Um... Hey Buff, how you doing? Okay. So, we know what we need to do. Eating pizza? Ooh, what kind of pizza? Please, tell me more. Child. There we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Ta-da! Ham and pepperoni. Nice. See, that was so easy when there wasn't a block um, trying to crush me. <laughs> I don't get to take the little green cube with me, do I? No, my little cube. Oh, bye. Oh, goody. A rope swinging segment. Huh. We all know how much I love these. This couldn't possibly go horribly wrong and get me killed. Bye, cube. <laughs> Parkour. Yes. Um. Oh. Uh. Why must games deprive me of adorable cubes? I know, right? It sucks. I had pizza the past two days. Had pasta today. Nice. What kind of pasta? And if you feel like telling us, what kind of pizza too? I had uh, cheeseburger pizza on Monday because I had the sads. Um, and then I had uh, tuna, onion and sweet corn pizza for my lunch the next day because I got it for free with the cheeseburger pizza. Um... Ah, there's a platform down there that I wouldn't have been able to see had I not been swinging like an idiot while I was chatting. Um, and then I had fried chicken last night. <laughs> it, it, like I said, it's been a week. I have been very, very lax on my behaviours when it comes to not just ordering. Ooh, pretty. Uh, just ordering takeout every night. Cubes are too perfect for nature. They are the first victims of entropy. Yeah. All I've had today is bacon and chicken baguette from Greg's. I can't be asked to eat it. I get that, Ash. I like a hundred percent get that. Um Also I, I never really liked the chicken and bacon baguettes from Greg's, but that's because I used to work there. <laughs> I have opinions. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. Uh. I was not expecting that to happen.
I've just realized that it's it's pushed us all the way over here. Now the cube gives us the power of ruler. Get huh. nice and moist for me, won't you? Hi, Mom. How you doing? It does sound p pretty sus when you first hear about it, but it's actually very nice. Hmm. Oh, oh, I think I know what we need to do. Okay, so if we bring this back over here. And then we do this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. See how many cubes we can have this time. Just two. Which one's going to disappear? That one. That's annoying. Okay, so... Push it this way. Hopefully this one stays. You watch, the other one's going to disappear now. No, 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 we're not going to fuck about with this. We'll let that one disappear this time. There we fucking go. Hey, DMAC, how you doing, mate? Nope, can't, uh, can't drag that now. Just going to very carefully squidge them both over. There we go. That did not work how I intended it to. <laughs> At all. Uh, I take it the please tan was at the um, talk of tuna pizza. Alzasto is not the only one that can have terrible food takes, okay? I like a tuna pizza. It's basically a tuna cheese and onion sandwich. But, you know, only one bit of bread. Hmm. Thank you for the hydrate tids. I don't know why the sound didn't proc. Oh, okay then. Fair enough. Thank you. Uh, so my thinking was... Of course it's not going to work. There's too much of a, a lip there. Tuna pizza is fine. Big tuna sign. Okay, fair enough. Um, genuinely don't know what to do now. Because that has thrown my plan right out the window what we need to do is I don't want you to jump girl we need to get one of these to be in the aura of that there but this little wall's in the way and we only have one little green cube does make it slightly taller. We need a second green cube is what we need, but I don't think there is one. Oh look, a quote bot. Indeed. There is now, Pudlord. Um, Mod Hale and Samus were making up uh, entertaining law yesterday and I was like you know what fuck it we're having a law bot now <laughs> um thank you tids I think 
Is that a compliment? I think that was a compliment. And I'm guessing it was also a self compliment because I'm guessing you've got one now as well. Um. Okay, now I know what we need to do here. Uh, just so that we get. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, no. Bottom one. But bottom one. Child Y. Um Ah, there we go. I hope this works. Yes. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. We got this. This is fine. It is not fine, but... Oh, okay, it's a pressure plate. <laughs> I don't know why I, I keep mixing the pressure plate ones up with the um, ones that you actually have to connect the uh, power sources with. These shafts are so tight, the architect could never squeeze into them. She is a giant woman. Um oh okay, I just I, I just keep crawling. Okay. It won't it won't let me not have that on the screen. There we go. It's like she never meant to come here and built them. For me. Kid doesn't miss miss a trick, does she? Okay, so we've got a little rope here. Okay, so they move very quickly. Let's see. Yeah, thoughts much. So, this is a, a fairly easy one to solve then. I mean, they're all fairly easy as long as you're actually thinking about them. How else are you supposed to look at child labour? <laughs> Character building, oh my god! Ye old child labour Eldritch Temple. A little bit. Just feel a little bit like there's been too much child labour on my uh, Wednesday streams recently. <laughs> like we just finished playing stacking and everything. If you don't have black one by the time you're 15, are you even living? <laughs> Fucking hell. Is this gonna let us have more than two blocks? Hi, Cypher. I don't know what you're stomping about, kid. What the Godzilla have I returned to? <laughs> Very good use of the sound command there, Cypher. Well done. And welcome back. Okay. This is either going to work or it's not. It does not! Okay. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, no, no, I've got it. Silly me. 
I was uh, talking with um, Haley Gold Frappuccino earlier on her stream. Um, she's playing through Monkey Island 2 at the moment in prep for um, the end of the month when uh, Return 2 comes out. And we were talking about how like, puzzle games, when you're streaming them, just make you feel stupid all the time because you know the answers to stuff and you figure stuff out, but for some reason, because you're streaming it, you just don't figure it out as fast. Is that movable? I think that might be movable. I'm going to go back and check. I think it is. Yeah. When I was younger, I legit thought for like a month that child labour was a children's version of the Labour Party. I don't know if that makes me dumb or not. No, it does not make you dumb. I find that the case... For one thing, you were a child that knew about the Labour Party. That's impressive. By most people's standards. There we go. <clears throat> um, I find that the case with most things, they either work or not. To have walked into Victorians, apparently. <laughs> My ankles are on display. Oh no! Whatever shall you do? Whee! This is a very pretty game. Welcome back, Tids. Do I need to swing or can I stand on that platform and jump? I think I can stand on that platform and jump. Um. Oh, Get right, yeah. Nice and moist for me, won't you? Oh, there we go. Mod Hale, thank you very much for the stretch, the posture check, and the hydrate. Ow. Have I been going for an hour already? You didn't have a picture of James Callaghan on your bedroom wall growing up. No, no, I didn't. I had... What did I have? I know I had the original 151 Pokemon poster. The one that had, like, little tick boxes so you could mark when you'd collected them in your card collection. More of a John Major kid, eh? Uh, I couldn't possibly comment. Um... Yeah. As an actual child, I had uh, Pokemon and I think I had a Digimon poster as well. Uh... Oh, really? Really? We're here already. I feel like the other, um, the other garden was one, far prettier, and two, Way more complicated. <laughs> I had John Cena on my wall, the poster was invisible. <laughs> Amazing. I'm a child of civil servants, so I was somewhat politically aware. Yeah, fair. It's working. The model must be aligned now. Um. Hey. Hello, giant woman. Your skills never cease to amaze. How did you like the arboretum? I've never seen so much colour, so much life. In a weird way, it almost makes me want to stay. It wasn't as colourful as the other one. Did you folks hear the bad joke command then? Because I saw it in chat, but I heard nothing. <laughs> oh, 
No, there it is. That's weird. You serious? That's very weird. I don't think it works. Um, ah, that might be why. I don't think it, that one works in Spice. sentences at the moment. Thank you, Mod Hale, for testing a different command. It is still working. Um, I do need to fix that at some point. I've been meaning to do so and keep forgetting. Like, I actually want to set it up so that you can... Um, now that I've got the... Thank you, everyone. <laughs> then why don't you? Just let me out, will you? Um, it's my home, you see. You miss it? Even the hard things, like dragging most boxes full of books back at the library. Or the early morning prayer, when everyone had their eyes and ears on me and I couldn't miss a beat. Or the fasting periods. Those were the worst. I'd starve, but still. It was life. It's all I've ever known, but feel like I'll never see it again. <laughs> then let us work on getting you out of here. Thank you. Where should I go now? Oh. Why don't you walk to the end of the hall? I may not be in my prime, but I managed to divert a path towards the factory. Yeah, Ash, it's broken. Trash Panda is dead, long live the Trash Panda. The um, VTuber application that I use is broken, and it has broken today. Um, I found out two minutes before I was due to go, go live and decided to just go live without it. Um, I'm going to try and fix it after the stream. I don't know what's caused it. Like, nothing's changed since Sunday. Maybe it just needs a, a fresh install of the application. I don't know. We'll see. The factory? That's where I'll find the exit. That is where you will fight for it. There is a darkness ahead. But look for the guiding light. And remember that hope will always brighten your way. Hope? But when we met, you told me to never even mention hope. What changed? Why, dear, isn't it obvious? Okay, this is where we got a soft lock before. Because we weren't supposed to be here yet. Um... There we go. Hey, Mech Frog, how you doing? Welcome on in. Hmm. Uh, did that do anything? Doesn't look like it did anything. I pressed the right bumper, and nothing happened. Right, row. Well. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's an evening here, Macfrog. Um, that doesn't feel right somehow. Like, it, it gave me a, a button prompt. I did the button prompt thing and nothing happened. Yeah. 
So we're going to go back to here. To the last checkpoint. We're not going to skip the cutscene because it won't let us. You enjoy your time in the Lurker's Lounge, Ash. And I hope you're feeling better soon. Right, so we'll do all the talking thing again. Terribly exciting. I'm going to skip through as much of it as I can. Like this. Hmm. Ha! Ah, indeed. Are we done? We're done. Like, I don't think I should have been able to fit down there. Because that doesn't look like it's... There we go. Don't know why it wasn't letting me do that before. Ah, and that's why the button prompt wasn't doing anything. There we go. We can only put one thing in a cube at a time, it seems. Or it's being an arse again. One way to find out. Do it again. Is it gonna let me? Whoa, shit. That's a no. I genuinely don't know if you're supposed to be able to do these things and it's just a little jank. Or... Or what? Hmm. <laughs> and now it's back over there again. And I can't get the thing. Is it going to stay if I drag it? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Do that then. Can we have that one too? Yes. There we go. That looks like, unless I've um, mixed them up again, another pressure plate one, but it's... I wonder. No, that seems like a bad plan. I'll try it anyway. What's the worst that can happen? No, it won't let me do it. Okay. Let's bring this down here. Uh, okay, what the fuck have I missed? Mother-in-law got invited to a wedding, but the invite was just a QR code, so she thought it was junk and binned it. Yep, I'd do the same. Uh... My inner Tanabeth was saying, heck yeah. I think Hobby would have some choice words about scanning random QR codes. I fucking would as well. You're not wrong. Like, after what I've had to deal with today, um, which I will not be divulging um, on the stream because it's not my information to divulge. Um, 
my choice words are don't fucking do it. Don't listen to DMAC, the agent of chaos in the corner. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. So what we do is we go whoop. Ta -da! If people are smart, we lose our livelihood. And while this may be the case, DMAC, <laughs> we don't live in a perfect world. So I'm fine. Can't resist them when I see them about the town. <laughs> really, Steen? See, Steen is very, very clever. I've um, heard his discussions about um, marketing consent and stuff like that during his streams. And if he can't resist them, then we're fine, D. <laughs> Do it, but have location turned on first. <laughs> have had myself a merry little stressful day, so I'm going to bid you all good evening and lurk. No worries at all, Podlord. You enjoy your time in the lurker's lounge. You chill out as best you can. Done everything I could for the architect. It's time to move on. Fine, I won't go left then. Um, this is a this is a nice little setup we've got here. Very pretty. And look, more really nice reflection work. Look at that. Look at that. Gold stars to the designers of this game for making it so fucking pretty. Oh, you've even got a bit of a reflection in the broken one up there. They've even, you know, gone to the effort of doing that properly. Nice. Well done, folks. Um. Yeah, thank you so much for popping in today, Pudlord. It has been lovely to have you. You get some good rest. I like the idea of QR and similar visual codes and what they can be capable of, but I'm also aware of what they can be capable of. Yeah, exactly, Mod Hale. The right tool in the wrong hands makes all the difference in the world. Hello, young heart. Ah! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. You didn't? Of course not. I'm only here to help. After all, I'm... The Guiding Light. My reputation precedes me. Now that's a really nice character design. The architect, she... she mentioned you. I thought she was being metaphorical, though. Yeah, that just sounded like the kind of thing the architect would do. Well, let's just say there's a reason I wonder about helping those in need, rather than enforcing the tower's rule. So it's true, you can help me escape. Of course, right after I try to dissuade you first. Sorry? Why don't you look out that window with me? Uh... Hey, Krubus, how you doing? Started my new job at the bar. Congratulations, I hope it's going amazingly. Young heart, quick, put them in the sharpshooter. <laughs> personally hate the new trend among certain restaurants and bars where the menus are just QR codes or check in via QR. So easy to abuse and they make me want to make sure I always have a stack of Rip Roll QR code stickers in common sizes on me. <laughs> Mod hell you're a swine. It's delightful. I'd like to point out there was no evidence to what it was. It was just a QR code. Yeah Cypher, she did the right thing. If she wasn't expecting that and there was nothing to suggest that it was a wedding invite, then she was right to put it in the fucking bin. Now, look over there.
Uh, are you feeling discouraged? <laughs> I'd like to leave now, please. Um, no, let, let's let's get some some information about the world. Let's get some lore. The architect called this place the factory, but what is it really? And if, um, if whoever sent her the invite gives her stick for throwing it away, Cypher, tell her to ignore him, because that is the stupidest wedding invite ever. Well, you can think of it as a sort of distillery, where souls are refined into something. Something? Something useful, I guess. A stone, a rock, a gem. Infused with the qualities the tower needs. Needs? What for? I wish I could say for sure, but the tower never trusted anyone with her secrets. Silent Green! What's that huge thing out there? That would be Shardak. Courtesy of the tower, all because of you. So that thing's out there to... stop me from leaving? You from leaving, anyone else from entering. Could have been worse, could have been a wedding invitation NFT. Ugh. Can't believe I haven't banned that, uh acronym yet but yes you're right Torpor apart from tattooing painting the invite on a piglet greasing it and setting it loose into the invitee's backyard that would be worse I suppose it would yes Modhail I have obtained sea salt chips lovely the assault you summoned was the worst the tower ever experienced she needed a defense system. Hence. In that case, the friendship deserves to end. Yeah, that's very true. New $10,000 wedding invite NFTs. Worth $7,000. Buy now for only 4500 Please? Shardak. Exactly. Ever since I woke up, I've been trying to find the exit. And you're not planning to stop just yet. Very well. There's a secret passage that leads into the factory. Just say the word. Alright then, let's fuck off! It's time to leave. Will you show me the way? Not gladly, but I will. Follow me. Hello. Um. Okay. You're just gonna fucking teleport off, are you? Alright then. I've opened the path for you. Be warned. Once you're down there, that watchful beast, Shardak, will awaken. And it won't stop until it seizes you. Or worse. No beast is invincible. There must be a way to conquer it. Sorry. I know what you're trying to do, but I don't need to be protected. Not anymore. From the moment I started my training to the day I was taken to the tower, I dreamed I was some damsel in distress, just waiting to be saved from... My regrets and the fear all I'd ever do is follow in Papa's footsteps and never find my true purpose. But now I understand, this battle's my own. No one can fight it for me. Then you're brave. Braver than I'll ever be. Mm. Shardak is powered by three terminal blocks. All you have to do is switch them off. I understand. 
If I switch off those three terminal blocks, I'll turn off Shardak. <laughs> Thank you. You really are the guiding light. Bye, guiding light. Or not. Let's try that again. Bye, guiding light. There you go. Flawless. Super smooth. I thought that was going to be a wall then, but no, it's just lava in the background. Harmless bit of lava. Oh, I don't like that. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I think it's angry. I think it's very angry. Oh. Okay. This this could be painful for people to watch and I apologize for that. Oh. oh no. Okay. Okay. So this is a combination of go very fast and then hide. <laughs> um, and it's just a case of knowing where to hide and um, when. That's fine. I think this is going to keep us safe. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't quite fast enough then. Like, I don't have a run button or anything like that either. So... <sighs> I'm just gonna wait here for a second. What I really need to do is get under there. There we go. It looks like it tids, and we've got a checkpoint here as well, which is nice. So I'm just going to wait there. What have we got? Oh, okay, okay. Now we have to solve puzzles and not die. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so this area is safe. I'm going to wait here until it does its thing again. I don't know if that counts as uh, a safe zone. One way to find out. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. No, it doesn't. Okay. No, it doesn't. Uh, can't hide on the block. 
Looks like we don't actually need the block at all. We just need the thing that's in it. So. That should protect us. There we go. Sorted. I'm going to wait a moment. We do need the cube. Okay, we do need the cube. But now we know that and we know what we need to do with it. We don't need to fuck about with it. We just need to get it across the map. That's fine. I'm going to wait for it to do another thing. It's fine. Actually, we could have left that there. That's a shame. That was silly on my part, but never mind, eh? Right, so we'll go back and get that in a second. This is fine. We know what we need to do. That's the important thing. Oh, fuck. At least it's not too unforgiving in the grand scheme of things. See? That wasn't so bad. Looks like the animations of the shields don't need to finish yet. Yeah. It's actually a lot more forgiving than it initially looks. Is that safe? That's safe. But all the shit we need is up there. So... Was this safe? This was safe. Okay. Oh no! Like I was just in there. That's a... Is that a door? Or... Hmm. Interesting. Beautiful. That's what we want. Nice and easy there. Might be an off switch. That'd be nice. Chuck that down there. Oh. No. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Right. I'm going to wait for it to do another one, and then I'm going to go off to the middle. To here. Do that. The nice thing as well is while it's doing its little hissy fit, fit thing, we can actually... Um keep pushing the block along. Right, I don't think 
we might need the green actually. Hmm. We probably need the green, so I'm going to go back and get it just to be safe. This machine. It must be one of the terminal blocks that the Guiding Light told me about. Ah, the Eye of Techno Sauron. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It is a, it is a little bit Sauron, isn't it? Um, okay. Uh, does that turn off some of the eyes? Oh, oh, it turned the whole thing off. Um, everything is suddenly a lot quieter. That's it. Shardark's getting weaker. Now I just need to find the other two terminal blocks. Before it fucking wakes up. Yay! Off switch. Yep, yeah, you called it, Tids. Well done. Nothing there. No secrets. Okay. Okie dokie. Big brain. You have a very big brain. So that's gonna be... That's gonna lift us up, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. So we can get this. Oh no, the lava's in the background, isn't it? I keep doing that. I keep thinking the lava's in the foreground. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. I do have a slight problem, however. Excellent! In that the little... Floaty one appears to be stuck. <laughs> um, bo bo bottom one? Bo bo bottom one. Fine, go in the top one. Okay, can I have the... <sighs> Got ya! Little bugger. Okay, so I want the bottom one. Oh no, because the bottom one's... Uh... Bottom one only does up. The top one only does big. Yep, there we go. Nope! Oh. <laughs> I was so proud of myself then. It won't let me make this one bigger until the animation's completed. But I obviously can't do that when I'm... So I've got to be really quick. I wonder if I'm stood there. No, too far away. There we go. Uh... Oh. Not tall enough. Mum, thank you for the stretch and the treat. Uh. Oh. Uh, oh. Um. Porthos has uh, relocated to the opposite end of the room. <laughs> Just looked down and everything was gone. <laughs> 
Pick the bottom, raise the top. Yeah, I could do. Um, I don't know how I'd go about doing that, though. Oh! Oh! Oh, I know how I'd go about doing that. Hang on. Um, the treat for me is a fizzy pineapple. And go! Cool. Sorted. Oh, it didn't like that. Thank you for the treat for Porthos buff. Thank you, buddy. Okay, I literally hand fed him there and he still dropped it. Okay, so it doesn't like doing that either. Oh, buff, thank you. And Grox, thank you for the treats for me. Just turn the light on first. Because it's a bit dark in here now. Treat was for Paul's Gosforth, apparently. Seeing as I've got two treats for me at the same time, and I just so happened to pull these out of the jar at the same time. We have a blue dolphin and a white dolphin. Thank you, both. <laughs> Hayley, hello, sweetheart. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in to you and your raiders. How are you getting on with... um? Monkey Island, make any more progress? Hello there. Hello, Born. How you doing? Um, you know, I was actually talking about uh you earlier, Haley. <laughs> Only have one more map piece to get. Wicked. There was a, a puzzle that I was like, I, I know what I need to do. I know exactly what I need to do here, but I just, my brain's not firing properly. I felt like such a fucking idiot because I knew how to do it. I knew I knew how to do it. I just couldn't do it. Oh, you're more than welcome, sweetheart. I hope I wasn't too much. Like, I was trying really hard to be as cryptic as possible, but also helpful because I know the clues in the game itself can be a bit naff sometimes. <laughs> uh oh okay okay so thank you slow Sl slow has brought me a bottle of off-brand lilt hey it's perfect thank you which i will get myself a glass for and uh have a little tipple in a bit And uh, drink that whilst I'm desperately trying to fix my avatar. I have acquired dinner. What have you acquired? Please tell. Okay. So it's got to be... Uh, I'm, I'm glad, Haley. I was very, very worried about saying too much. Also, I love that your no backs eating command um, is just knobs. It makes me laugh. <laughs> um, yeah. So if we have this on the top. Oh, actually, if I do this, if I do it this way. Can I reach there? I can! Haha, -ha, there we go! Hey. Yeah! Atta girl. Sorted it. Sausages, fried carrots, and broccoli. Oh, that sounds good. 
Thank Tomahoop for that. Tomahoop's a fucking legend. Love it. I am dreading us coming up against um, the uh, Eye of Sauron during its cyberpunk phase again right now because it's bound to happen eventually. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I gotta do. I'll just push this back over here. Um, hmm. Actually, try it from there. This needs to come up. It drops really quickly. Okay. And we know it expands outwards rather than upwards. Need to make more characters with Sauron eyes to make them more upset uh, unsettling. Yeah, that works. I'm sorry uh, to those that have just joined us. I am having a lot of trouble talking today. I'm a bit tired, I think. Um, hmm. See, we only have one of the little triangles. Which means we can't make the platform... I wonder if we put it really really close to here and we do that wait for the animation to finish can't make it bigger okay buff thank you so much for being subscribed for 10 months that's amazing thank you so so much Buff Grinch 123 has been a sub for 10 months. Very naughty. I have no idea, Kian. If you tried to do a, a tab complete, maybe it uh, maybe it didn't tab properly. Nearly a year. Yeah, nearly a year. You're getting there. Two more months. Scary thought that, isn't it? Huh. Okay. So what we need to do is get this cube up there. Up there. Um. I wonder. If I... No, because it only goes... It goes wide, it doesn't go. So we'd have to... Do we need to push it over? I don't think we do. So my thinking is... It'll take that platform longer to move back to there. Once it's not powered anymore. Than it will for... Um... No, no. We want it all the way over to the edge. It'll take that platform up there longer to move back over here than it will for this to drop. Because it drops like a sack of spuds when it drops. So, if we go over here, we put our little triangle in here. Because this moves so slowly. Wait for it to spit the thing out. No, wrong one. Shit. No. Game Y. Okay. So I pressed the right bumper and both times there. It was like, oh, you want the other one. Okay. Okay. 
Right. Let's try that again. I have got the right idea, though. I know I've got the right idea. I've just got to time things properly. We get that. We'll press right bumper as we jump him. Yes! There we go! And then we put this here. And then we do that. And that's the door open. And over we go! Just poodle along. There we go. Sorted. It's really frustrating when you know what you need to do and you just don't seem to be capable of doing it. <laughs> Streamer's curse, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. Like, I'm, I'm not generally one for, like, industrial scapes, shall we say. Um, industry scapes? Is that is that the phrase there? Um, I prefer things with a, a more natural element to them. I really love photographs of abandoned cities that have um been sort of semi overtaken by nature um i love stuff like that there's a couple of them in japan that are really really pretty um so i'm i'm down for that kind of thing but generally when it comes to like factories and stuff like that i find them interesting but not pretty but this is this is very nicely designed it's very pretty and look at that glass look at that Again, with the reflections. Gold stars, devs. Seriously. The way you've done the reflections in the glass. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh-oh. It's back. Oh no, oh no. I've made a grave error already. Okay. I was looking at the, the shield thinking, I wonder why it's got a triangle in it instead of a square. Well done, Hobbs. Well done. You have observed a shape. Congratulations. Part of why I liked Nier so much. It does have a lot of industrial aesthetic, but it's also very overgrown. Yeah. Right, how fast does this thing go? Not horribly. And the platforms are forgiving enough that... Okay, so it's going to get caught in the... Yeah, it's going to get caught on the door there. That's good. Okay. Oh, oh, we got some strings in the backing now. You know it's serious when there's strings involved. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. Am I safe here? I think I'm safe. Oh, shit snacks. Okay. Goodbye. Okie dokie, dudes. Take care. Have a good time. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I thought I were going to die. Hey, guys, how you doing? Welcome on in.
out. <laughs> a bit eager there. I don't want to be in front of the shield, I want to be behind it. Is that gonna come back down? I don't I don't think that's gonna come back down. I may have just scuppered myself. Yeah, that's that's stuck up there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I knew it were going too well. Okay, let's let's try that again, shall we? So I think. Finally did a 40k train. Bought a few bargain train sets. I'll finish reading that in a sec, I'm sorry. Um Okay, now I can start moving a little bit. Um twelve GBP each. And today one of them is finally fit to praise the Omnisire. Awesome! Congrats! Yeah, so instead of using that there, I just need to leg it over here. This is actually a safe zone, so I could have just legged it to there, but... Yeah, made a big mistake there. Though it might have come back down eventually, after some waiting. I'll have to see if I can find those pictures, um, guys, because that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, so there's our um, off switch. Oh, shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> That's all a safe zone, but we don't have the tools we need to... Please tell me this is a safe zone. This is not a safe zone! Oh god. Oh, game, why? Okay, and we'll jump down here. Do this. We need that. There we go. <laughs> Saw it. Can I not have that one too? Please? Whew. Just glued some griblies to it. Base coat in Avedon Black and a few details later a dry brush with Lead Belcher. Took me about three hours. Nice!
There's the second terminal block. Now, to switch it off. Silence, I. There we go. Whew. You know what? I may make myself look like an idiot on multiple occasions playing this game, but I am enjoying it, and I am enjoying that there isn't any actual combat, that it's just solving puzzles, basically. Like you gotta, you got to use your head uh, to survive in this game, rather than uh, using your fists, and I like that. I can feel Shardak's power waning. Just one more to go. <laughs> Haven't done any painting myself since before COVID. Oh, bless you, Geist. Well, good on you for getting some hobbying in. Seriously. Like, I've not done any in a little while because I've just... I've not been in the headspace. Um, and then the whole house thing happened, so... Now I've decided that it's better to just uh, get the move out of the way first and then uh, we'll go from there. Missed. Oh, fuck. Actually, I think if I'm lower down, that will make more sense. There we go. Sorted. Right, what have we got here? We've got a little triangle which we'll pick up immediately, as is only right and proper. We've got a switch. There's a square up there. What does this do? This moves that platform. Okay. I think I see what we have to do here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll bring this over here. Oh, we've also got a, a little circle. We've not seen any of the, the orbs for a little while now. Like, they were an area one thing and we've not... God damn it, child. Come on. There we go. And we've not seen hiding a hair of them since. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, you cannot crush the child. Uh, so now we need to take this over here. And now, have we not got the... No, we've not. Okay. Let's see what the square does. Okay, it extends it a little bit. Worth knowing. So if we do that. Right. I don't know if this will work. I don't know if it will be there'll be enough space but let's find out so anything that comes for, for those that weren't here for the last bit of this game uh last week anything that comes into contact with the aura around the blue orb up there um is able to power things that its aura then touches so theoretically by making the box bigger we're making its aura bigger. But I don't know how much bigger. Well, not at all. 
So, plan B. Interesting. Okay. So if we bring the box over a tiny bit, let's see if it works then. We'll have to do that first. There we go. And now we do this. Oh, not fast enough. <laughs> but we know it works now. So we do that. And when it comes back down, it powers the other door mechanism. Sorted. Is it time for another boss fight? Please don't be time for another boss fight already. Welcome back, Cypher. Okay, these look like they need power. These need power. Okay. Oh, -ho! oh, okay then. Um, and it wouldn't let me move it. Uh, until after. It, it wouldn't let me put the little triangle in a new place until after the thing that was pushing it had stopped. So. What we want to do is leave that there. Because there's nothing for us up here. That should do it. Alsasto, hello, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Chat, we are being graced by the UK's finest Dwelf player tonight. Good to have you here. Okay. So. How goes the stream? Uh, well, my VTuber avatar is broken. Um, <laughs> and I'm playing a puzzle game, so I feel like an idiot. But other than that, absolutely grand, thank you very much. Absolutely grand. Okay, I'm hoping if I put this in the right place... Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have a little fight. That's fine. And then I push. There we go. No. Shit. Okay. So we're missing something to make this work. We must be. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful piece of pixel art um, that was done by the absolutely magnificent Carvistico. It's a very, very talented pixel artist. Uh, and a lovely, lovely person as well. Um, and I absolutely adore it. I'm, just, I'm so miffed that it's not working tonight. But I'll fix it. I'll figure out what's wrong and I'll fix it. I always do. We do the best we can. And we can't ask for any more than that. Okay. Okay then. So. We've got no switches to give us additional floaty power things. Can we steal the floaty power thing from here? We can. 
Oh, well, now I feel silly. Oops. Wrong one. You folks are enjoying the new law command, aren't you? Okay. So if we put this... Ah. <laughs> okay. I have figured it out. I have figured it out. It might be a little more difficult to do now. But we'll see. I'm just gonna ride the platform. It may actually be impossible to do now. Yeah, it's going to be impossible to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to load from the checkpoint. Look how close to the end we are, though. You know, I might just... I've already gone over my normal finish time, which is why I stopped having finish times on any of my schedule stuff. <laughs> um, but I might just finish this tonight. Seems a bit pointless to have just like a tiny little bit of it left, you know? Okay, so what we've got to do... Torpor, thank you very much for the posture check. I will get on that in but a moment. Get nice and moist Oh, me, and a stretch and a hydrate as well. Thank you very much. I will do those now whilst we're... ambling across the screen. Right. Give me the thing. And now, we wait. Now should be good. Yes! Oomph. Sorted. I used to be so bad for forgetting to stop when I was younger, going right till 4 or 5am on story games. I do that a lot at the moment with Ghostwire Tokyo on Saturday nights. Um, because I'm just enjoying it so much and it's one of those games where there's so many things you could be doing you can just sort of potter about for a while and lose time but I really really enjoy playing it and folks seem to be really enjoy watching me play it so you know it's a Saturday I ain't got work in the morning I don't really mind <laughs> um, but with this we only started it last week um, there doesn't appear to be much of it left so, uh, uh, right. I don't know if this is going to work. God, I hope it works. Will this be far enough? Nope. Okay. New plan. That's not... <sighs> we don't need that door opening, do we? Did we need that door opening? Actually, we don't need that. We can do it this way. What's in there? Ah, ha, ha, ha. No, I had the right idea. I had the right idea. Just executed it badly. It's fine. We've got a checkpoint. We load from the checkpoint. It's all good. Mm. Yeah, there's not much of this left, so... And if I'm feeling up to it, I'm going to do some speedrun practice next Wednesday. So. 
kind of looking forward to it, actually. Like, I actually, um... Part of the Monday from Hell story that I never actually told you folks earlier was, um... That I did do some speedrun practice. And... The speedrun that I did over my lunch break went really well. Like, immensely well. I was so proud of myself. It's been... About four months, three, four months since I last played any DuckTales. Um, and I was only 7.6 seconds below, uh, like above my PB time. Um, woo, indeed. Uh, so I thought, you know what, I'll have another practice after work when I've got time to actually focus on it and do it properly and not worry about getting a random email um, halfway through. Oh no. <laughs> that was awkward. Okay, so here's the plan. No. Oh. Uh, okay, so. We need it this side. That's weird. Pushes itself back. Oh no, I wasn't fast enough again. Okay. Um, yeah, so decided, decided to have another practice run after work. And it went really, really well. Like, better than, um, better than my lunchtime one had gone. By a fair margin. And I got to the moon, so two levels from the end, roughly. Ugh. I've got to be super quick with that jump to do this. I, I don't think I'm fast enough, you know. Um, and the game black screened on the moon and I was devastated because it was like, it was a literally perfect moon run. I've not had a moon run that perfect. Maybe ever. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it just slammed that door in my face then. So I'm going to try and... Wait, this is going to be very precarious. I've got to time my jump perfectly. Okay. No! She doesn't climb fast enough. So close! So close! Uh, okay, this is going to be painful and awkward. I wonder. No, it won't let me. It won't let me put the triangle back in yet. I feel like Sisyphus. Okay. 
I lost connection for a moment. Oh, sorry to hear that, Cypher. I hope everything's okay now. But yeah, um... I was so proud of that moon run as well. There we fucking go! Ugh, finally! Oh, that was painful. Ah! Obligatory elevator sequence. What could possibly go wrong here? Oh, we've got two routes to take. Let's quickly get that checkpoint. And then let's go this way. Because you know my rule, folks. If your choice is going to the left or to the right, always go to the left. Oh! Law. I found some law. I wonder, is this the Jokers? Because we never found the Jokers uh, stuff, did we? Another stone filled with memories. But who did these belong to? When nothing is going right, go left, indeed. Or, as Slow's RP group say, the Emperor is always left. <laughs> okay, so what we got? These are the Guiding Light memories. I can hear the leaves rustling. I can feel the wind blowing. I can smell the wet earth. Journeying freely is such a sweet sensation. I'm sure the Guiding Light would love to hear this. Oh! So... I guess I just completely missed the Joker's stuff then. I feel kind of bad about that. Like, Thief got their memories back, but... Ooh. This writing, it's resonating with me, like I've been on this journey before. What does it say? Life, death, life, death, life. Here souls are killed. Lives come here to die. This is the factory of life. To die, to be reborn, another being. The relentless eye watches. Nothing will escape it. So teaches the lesson of fear. Souls shrink and die under the rays of his cold gaze. There is freedom, though, in the spirit of combat. Fear unsettles courage, yet courage faces fear. Defeat fear and rise to the light. Well, okay then. <laughs> I feel like we've learned something today. I feel like I'm going to have to go back and play this just so that I can find Joker's... Oh, no. Can I just, can I just stay here? I, I don't want to do this. It's back again, everyone. Not again. Oh, you bugger. Here we go. We're in its territory now. And it's angry. Oh, fuck. Okay. The stakes, they have been raised. Oh, fuck. I am suddenly very panicked. Yee! <laughs> Don't like this. Don't like this at all. God.
Let me up, let me up. Fuck. Uh... <laughs> I needed that and it didn't it, it wasn't in the right position to come through the platform. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, please be the off switch, please be the off switch. <laughs> it was not the off switch. Oh no. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can do this. We know what we need to do. Don't panic, Hobbs. You've got this. Probably. Mostly. <sighs> it don't half know how to make you feel tense, though. Oh no, I didn't do it again. Shit. I don't know if this is gonna work. Do I have a- I don't have a platform to go back to. Fuck. Okay, load from the checkpoint again. I need to be more careful about where I'm positioning it. I need to panic less and manoeuvre more. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, it's difficult. I mean, what what it wants me to do is not difficult, but doing it quickly and precisely when I'm panicking this much is difficult. It's my own stupid brain making this hard for me. Okay, we can do this. <laughs> we can do this. Okay. So I know where I need to place it. I've got a visual reference to where I need to place it. I need to place it here. Child, not now. Come on. God, I hope I don't need that anymore. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, you bugger. <sighs> what is it with me in games with angry computers in? Oh, fuck. I thought I was safe. Uh, <laughs> what? No, fuck off. How am I supposed to survive that? You chose him for I did. I did. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't choose the InfoSec life. The InfoSec life chose me. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do here then? I... Th th there's bugger all for me to interact with. Am I supposed to just run? Am I supposed to just die? 
because it's feeling that way. Like, even the checkpoint's not safe anymore. There's just that one little platform. Am I supposed to stand there and just wait for the inevitable? I think I am. Because I think that's the only safe spot on the entire floor. Because once I get to here, there's a wall in way. Isn't there? Is that a wall? Please tell me that's a wall and I've not been avoiding it because it's... When it's absolutely nothing. It's absolutely fucking nothing. Oh my god. But... Ah, uh, no. There's a switch there. Okay. So I was looking at the uh, thing in the middle of the screen. Um, I'll show you as we run past it this time. Um, thinking, yeah, that's a wall. I can't get past that. That's definitely in the foreground. Nope. Wasn't. <laughs> Not this thing. I'm loving the background. It's very nicely done. This thing here, you've got a little platform there that looks like it's separate from the rest of the ground. And then you've got that. The the big T-shaped thing. And I genuinely thought that was... in the foreground. And it wasn't. It's dead. We killed it. Ah. That little platform was there for a reason. I can't believe it. The, the beast is gone. Such a relief. And yet, so sad. Never thought my journey could cost so much to so many. But I can't stop now. It's time to go. Yeah, so she's... <laughs> you monster. I know, right? For science. You monster. She's basically killed a bunch of people um, and destroyed a security system because she wants to go home. And I can kind of appreciate that, but at the same time, wow, brutal. <laughs> this is nice. You did it. You defeated the Watcher. I did, but that was not all. It wasn't. I found a stone full of memories from a time and a place far away, full of hope and joy and freedom. The freedom to roam and wander from when I could travel far and wide and no one could stop me. And no one could judge me. And I heard someone whisper a name. Farid. I don't know what to say. I'm just happy I could share that with you before I left. Then I guess there's nothing to stop you from leaving now. How do you feel? Would you believe me if I said I'm not sure? I've been wanting this for so long it doesn't feel real. But it is, isn't it? Oh, Ina, that's a fucking mood. I said literally the same thing to Slow the other day about moving house. <laughs> Finally, we won. Clippy will never be installed again. <laughs> I didn't see the beginning. Why is the checkpoint legs slash pants? Mm, I suppose it does look a little bit like a leg, doesn't it? Um, It's just the design that they've gone for. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well then, what are you waiting for? They've they've gone for like Space. a a techno-y space pants. <laughs> they they've gone for a a, a techno-y kind of look. It's a little bit there's a little hint of transistor in there, I would say, in the world design. They're intergalactic, they are indeed. Oh, we've got another one of these. Oh, we're not allowed to run this time. Hold X to move automatically. Yeah, let's do that. I'm feeling lazy. 
Let's just let's just have it be a cutscene. The heart who dreams, the heart who dares, the heart who flees. No creature can live without its heart, didn't you know? Oh, look at that. We're about to kill the tower as well. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. There is nothing for you out there. No hope, no home, no papa. I know. I've known it since the moment I woke up. Oh, shit. Wow. You could have dreamt of anything. But you had to dream of my death. No, that's not what I dreamt of. I dreamt I was a storm raining fiercely upon the earth, and then... I saw something in the distance, specks of colour against the grey. I'm up here, I said, but my voice would only hurt them. I had to learn how to whisper. I had to discover how to breathe. I sent my pleas into a gust and drew the colours out to me. I could have mastered the rainfall. I could have ruled the gale. But all I wanted was to clear away my storm and saw the sky as paint. I don't know how long I was asleep, but the only thing I ever dreamt of... ...was freedom. And was dreaming not enough? The fact that that last line was off-center has really bugged me. <laughs> like it looked like there was supposed to be more added on afterwards and it wasn't there. You know, for the longest time, I was really scared of you. I feared you, and I hated you. I still do, I guess. But I'm ready to leave this behind. So... For all it's worth, I hope someday you'll find what you're looking for. Have you? I'm ready to start looking. There it is. That's Aspire, Ina's tail. Done. That <laughs> Ina is out of there. <laughs> That's a very pretty game. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that we've basically doomed the entire civilization that lives within the tower because, like the tower said at the end there, no creature can live without its heart. But maybe they'll all be okay. Who knows? Success! Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like the question mark at the end, Torpor. <laughs> Accurate. What did folks think? I know it was a bit of an odd one. Um, But did you enjoy it? Did you at least like the look of it? <laughs> But does society d depends on the uh, enslavement of a sentient being deserve to survive? That's a very fair point, Cypher. It was pretty. Pretty game, somewhat melancholy. Well made. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I I, I think I agree with you there, Modhel. It's not a happy game. It's a very pretty game. It's not a happy game. Um... But then again, it's not a sad game either. It's kind of bittersweet, which personally I like. And I also like the fact that it does have this very good, solid life goes on message. Like everybody that she encountered in the tower was sat there with her in that last piece of art, in that first piece of art in the credits, even. Like, life is going on for them. And it can go on for the tower, too. It just needs to... It needs to reassess itself. A lot of Disney shows I've seen recently have ended bittersweetly. Ooh, give us a couple of examples, Cypher. Because Disney has this habit of either doing things fucking perfectly or just missing the mark completely, in my experience. Like, Gravity Falls glorious work. I, I adore Alex Hirsch's work. Um, Amphibia. Amphibia is a wonderful little show. And if I'm not mistaken, is by one of um, Alex Hirsch's uh, co-creators. Like, it's supposedly um, set in the same multiverse as um, Gravity Falls is and everything, which is really cool. Uh, I love Amphibia. Um, Star vs. the Forces of Evil is another great example. See, you're, you're listing all of my favourite Disney XD shows. Because um, these were all shows that were just really, really well put together and that Disney fucked about something fierce. Um, but yeah, if, if, you, if you like your animations and you like your animated TV, I do recommend both of the shows that... Um, Cypher has mentioned there, as well as uh, um, as well as Gravity Falls. All three of them are absolutely fantastic. Owl House as well. Owl House, Gravity Falls, Amphibia Multiverse. Yeah, exactly, Cypher. <laughs> I love Amphibia solely for Hot Pop. That is fair. Hot Pop is awesome. <laughs> um, I love them all. The, the, the wonderfully fleshed out characters and even the really annoying ones get better with time because they are good characters that are written well and develop properly. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's that's Aspire done. Flumidy forever, yes. Uh, so let's let's take you on over to ending screen. Now, so that I can actually quit the game, I have to alt-tab out of it and then hit close window on my taskbar because it doesn't have a, an exit option before the opening cutscene, <laughs> which is great. Um, no, I, I have really enjoyed playing it though, and I really do hope that you folks have enjoyed watching me play it, even when I've been failing at it miserably. Um... Now, let's see who's live. Hmm. I think... Oh, you're most welcome, Rocket. I think we'll go say hi to Mechfrog tonight. 
a lovely member of our community, and I believe is currently painting some battle tech. So that'll be fun. Oh no, Mormons! Especially the failures. Wow, thank you. Nobody in the giveaway. Um, there are two copies of Violet Swing in the giveaway. It's the same game as it was on Sunday, because I just did not have time to deal with it today, I'm Goodbye. afraid. Um, but if anybody does want them, just drop me a, a, a DM um, through any means in which you can contact me, and I will send you one of them. Um, right, I will be back on Friday. We'll be doing some more Cult of the Lamb for our community night, or commune, itty night, if you prefer. Um, and that'll be around about 6pm UK time. No brick through the window, thank you very much, Cypher. I've sold the place. I'd like to keep it in the state it's in for now. Wait until after I've moved to be throwing bricks through the windows, yeah? Um, anyway. Hopefully I'll see you all on Friday. But, if not, and until I do see you next, I want you Goodbye. to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your fucking hands! And have a great rest of your week, everybody. However you're spending it. Bye-bye. <laughs>